Okay, now we have all of our pieces cut out, but first I want to show you um, the paper I'm using came from uh, DC Die Cuts with a View. It's the Mango Frost Paper Stack. This is really some awesome paper. Um, it's got a lot of glitter paper, glittery, bright colors um, in the paper pack that I just love. So I, I wanted to show you that real quick before I started off. So I basically used one of the papers in the paper pack, um, this real pretty uh, bright pink, and that will be the base of my scrapbook layout. Here's my large rectangle that I've cut out. Here is the small rectangle that I've cut out. Let's see, here is the rickrack that I cut out, and also the large circle. So we're going to go ahead and put this together since this is the base of the page. Now you might notice on the cutouts, I went ahead and I um, inked around the edges a bit using um, my Memento Tangelo Orange. I thought it matched the paper fairly well. And my little dauber. So I just went around the edges and, and uh, inked those. The paper, the back side of the paper is white. So whenever you use a white backed paper, a lot of times you'll have white uh, around the edges there. And I like to cover that up. So let's go ahead and attach or get the background put together for this layout. These are some really, really pretty colors. I just love them. They're so bright. And they actually match my granddaughter's photo that I'll be putting on this layout page. Now, if you remember on our gypsy layout, that smaller rectangle was butted right up next to the larger rectangle. And then, let's see, I think I'm going to run that through my Xyron. Let's go ahead and do that. And this is going to lay over that seam where those two pieces of paper uh, join. All right, there we go. All right, and then the next item will be the circle that we've cut out. And, hmm, I don't know if the ATG will work very well on that. Let's try it. Well, looks like it's a work on. A little squeaky. Alrighty. Okay, so what we're going to do is place that circle right, right about there. I love to use color packs because all of the paper matches. I think that's really important when you're doing a a fun layout is that all of your paper will match. Um, the next thing <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and add are the pictures. Now I've gone ahead and matted my pictures. Um, this is my granddaughter Brooklyn and I wanted to add her photos to this layout. thing I'm going to add are the um, flourishes. Remember these are the flourishes that were from Storybook and they were 
three different floors, just two were the same, and the center um, was different, but I welded those together, and you really can't tell that um, they're different in any way. They look like they should be one big piece, and that is not going to fit in the Xyron. So, I'm going to use my Martha Stewart glue for this. This has got such intricate little lines here. Ooh. Okay, so I'm going to, let me see if I can remember how I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to put that on like that. All right, and then I'll go ahead and do the second one. glue on that, but for now we'll go ahead and roll with it. Okay, <clears throat> so now it is time to add the flowers. Remember the flowers that I told you I was experimenting with? Well, this is what I ended up doing. Um, I have three layers and a button in the center, and I'm going to show you real quick how I did those three layers. Um, so here are the three layers, three different sizes. Basically what I did is I took my Memento ink, I have one in cantaloupe, tangelo, and dandelion. And I started with the cantaloupe one, and I just basically went around no particular neatness required. Just wanted to add some color. I think this adds depth to the flower. I just basically started with one color, and then used the tangelo to go around the outside side edges because it's a little bit of a darker um, orange. And then use the yellow to soften the whole thing up. Just went over the whole thing with the yellow to basically blend the colors and to soften. Okay. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take each of these little flowers and bend them up like that. Then using our tweezers, we're going to squish in the middle and fold them back just to give it a little bit of body. Push the petals back up. You're going to, on the center one, you're going to go in with the petals. Now the center one, I didn't um, do the shapes, do, didn't use the tweezers. I basically just push them up and then what I'm doing I'm um, using my foam tape but I'm going to cut a small piece of the foam tape and put that in the center of the first layer and then I'll layer these you want to stagger those petals and then you're going to do the same thing with the little one here the foam tape to put in the center of that one Again, I'm going to stagger my leaves. There we go. And there, so there's the basic flower, and then I'm going to add a button. Uh, I'm chosen to add a, a pink button to match the layout. So I'm just going to thread some white twine through that.